2024 published these on social media and also used these images as physical posters in a number of different locations. None of the scenes depicted in these posters appear in the film. Hi y'all, Snarky J Cosplay here. So this week, instead of b***ing about Lionsgate, Disney, Fox, or any other large media conglomerate, it seems like the people in hot water are the folks over at A24. A24 has a history. That tapping noise is my dog walking around. Please sit. Sit please for mommy. Thank you. Oh my god, you guys look so cute. I'm gonna show you guys a picture. Mommy can't buy dog food if she doesn't make money off YouTube ads. Anyway, A24 has a history of making really cool content that sort of ends up becoming cult classic type stuff. And they recently dropped a new movie by the name of Civil War. But what I want to talk about here is not the movie. What I want to talk about is their absolute bullshit marketing techniques. See, they started dropping all these different posters that I'm going to show you guys. Posters that essentially show these cities in destruction after a civil war. There's LA, Chicago, Miami. Not even the sphere in Las Vegas was safe from their imagination of this country's destruction. But there's two big issues here. One, all of these posters are AI generated. While this stuff might look impressive right now, if you take a closer look, this giant f***ing swan. You could say it might be a paddle boat, but it also doesn't look like a paddle boat, so it just looks like a really big f***ing bird. In the Miami poster, which I'm so honored that they chose to mention us, they decided to include this blaringly obvious mistake. This car has three doors. I've lived in Miami for a very long time, and I have yet to see a three three-doored car. But besides the fact that this AI-generated bullshit is very uncanny valley and has some blatantly obvious mistakes, the real issue is that because these are AI-generated, none of the scenes depicted in these posters appear in the film. Nothing that happens in the film is remotely close to what they show in these posters. See, this movie had a budget of $50 million, which is nothing to sneeze at, but when you consider the hundreds of millions of dollars that go into making giant f***ing blockbusters that would produce images like these, then you know that on a $50 million budget, there's no way that there's anything in this movie that looks like that. Anybody that's seen this movie has already gone online to gripe about the fact that none of these posters are an accurate representation of what is in the film. So besides the fact that people in the creative part of the film industry are already suffering due to the advent of AI, and AI seems to be taking over our lives, if you want a good video about AI entering another weird facet of our lives, you can check out the video I released last week about AI girlfriends making men lonelier. I'm gonna link that here. But this AI generated bullshit is false advertising. See, A24 published these on social media and also used these images as physical posters in a number of different locations. These images are representative of a much larger blockbuster, not the A24 film that has been released. How the hell is this okay? See, the interesting thing is that sources close to the movie are trying to justify it by saying that the movie is one big what if. And because the entire movie is one big what if, then these images that are inspired by the movie essentially continue the thought of the movie being one big what if. And really, do you smell that? I smell bullshit. A poster is literally promo for a movie. Like a trailer, it should be representative of what's within the film. Let's look at this on a much simpler scale. Back in the day, you might have been by a movie theater and decided to pop in and watch something. And before you had extensive research conducted by and griping YouTubers on the internet, or trailers readily available, you might have just walked by a theater, checked out the posters, and bought a ticket to something that appealed to you. Let's say you saw this poster and decided that looked like an interesting movie and you bought a ticket and you sat down. Now from this kind of poster, you're probably expecting some epic action movie about a bunch of criminals on a plane enacting some kind of crazy shenanigans on said plane, right? But if you sat down in that theater, 
and you found that the movie was actually focused on the blossoming friendship between a soft-spoken, gentle African-American man and a banker who has been wrongfully accused of killing his wife and her lover, well, you might be kind of f***ing pissed. So let's say you walk out of that theater with your butter-stained fingers and a bone to pick with the producers of that poster, and you walk up and you say, hey, there wasn't even a f***ing plane in that movie. This poster has nothing to do with the movie. And they're like, yeah, okay. But what if there had been a plane, right? What if Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman had like lost their f***ing minds and they were actually on a plane doing a prison transport and they decided to develop like this huge plan to escape? Like imagine how much cooler that would be. And that's where you, as a moviegoer, having given them your hard-earned American dollars to watch the film, would be like, we'll make that f***ing movie and sell me a ticket to it. I mean, seriously. I get that A24 is artsy and fun, and so we're not gonna give them the same hard-ass attitude that we deal with a multi-billion dollar corporation like Paramount or Lionsgate or Disney or any of those. But are we really gonna let them get away with straight-up false advertising on the basis of a what-if? If it's that easy, then I'm gonna start generating images of like Megan Fox doing all the stupid faces that I do for my thumbnails. And then when you click the video and it's my dumbass and you start commenting, you don't actually look like that, why are these your images? Well, what if I was that sexy, right? Using AI-generated content as promo and marketing materials is already bad enough, but when all of those AI-generated pieces of content trick people into coming and watching a movie that looks like a big summer blockbuster but isn't, that is very clearly false advertising. It's dirty, and I'm honestly of the opinion that there has to be legal repercussions for something like this, right? I mean, Taco Bell a few years ago literally got sued for misrepresenting the amount of meat and beans in some of their menu items. Taco Bell, a fast food company. Fast food companies that are notorious for misrepresenting the meal that you're gonna get. They show you a big and juicy double-handed burger and what you get is this mess that looks like your aunt sat on it before you got it wrapped up in plastic and given to you on your way home. So how does A24 get away with this? I'm sorry, if anybody wants to get in on formulating a class action lawsuit against A24 for their bullshit marketing techniques and their literal blatant false advertising, Let's get this bread. And that's all from me. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. For more Snarky J, be sure to check me out on Instagram. And if you'd like to support me, this channel, and my content creation, do check out and consider subscribing to my Patreon for exclusive photo shoot sets and content. I will add links to both in the description below. And let me know your thoughts on A24's AI posters in the comments below.